hello YouTube welcome back to my video so in this video I am going to show you how to uh, download and install a uh, soap UI in your Windows PC and we are gonna test our fast uh, web service uh, visual web service through soap UI okay here we go okay now uh, let's uh, search for soap UI uh, install just search it you will get uh, the first link itself uh, the official uh, link to download it just click on that so it will take uh, to the download page i guess uh, yeah here it is download the installer is here yeah it's in this link download.sopa.html okay now here you can see uh, there are two versions here sopa open source and sopa pro so here's the description what is the difference basically for us to get uh, tested and uh, all other details as uh, uh, of now we need a soap ui open source only so soap ui pro uh, is uh, nothing but they have uh, a lot of uh, reporting capabilities and even uh, some dynamic request also you can uh, automate it as i uh, as i uh, read the documents uh, in the website okay so we'll go for a uh, soap ui open source just click on get it and uh, it will start downloading here you can see it's a 112 mb so it will be downloaded in a minute okay the download is complete here is the file so let me run this in administrator mode and go for further installation steps so it start uh, starting uh, the installation now from uh, this welcome screen just click on next and access uh, accept the license agreement so I'm going to install in the default path uh, let it be the next and uh, here okay just select the source also and just click next and accept uh, the license agreement again so it's asking for the soap here to tutorial to be installed yes we are going to do that and uh, let all be the default just uh, click next and wait for the installation to be completed okay yes uh, the installation has been completed you can see the final completion uh, window has been uh, pop up now let's uh, go to run uh, the soap ui just click finish so for the first time it will uh, take some time to load completely just wait for that so it's asking for uh, for sending anonymous uh, usage statuses to uh, soap no we don't need that just click no and uh, here it is so it's a uh, the uh, initial UI has been loaded so it's uh, asking to get your e name and email ID to register on the uh, uh, newsletters just keep that we don't need it so uh, yeah it will ask uh, the Windows security alert uh, to get access to your uh, Windows features just click hello again uh, through the firewall yes so uh, as I told uh, this is uh, the SOAP UI starter page now there are many features which uh, SOAP UI is providing to the users. SOAP UI provides itself some REST and SOAP uh, testing uh, services in their website. So I'll be showing you a test uh, not from their website, from outside their website. So let's start uh, checking uh, the, what are the features available and by testing one of a one of the visual uh, service which is available. Okay. So for testing, I have. Uh, got a website it's, uh, the website name is uh, quicksoftwaretesting.com where it is providing a lot of uh, visual services like global weather soap and us weather by cities uh, city zip codes and some others also for testing i'll be using like uh, global weather visual okay so it's saying like this weather generate uh, visual generate two service operation get cities by country and uh, get the weather for any country or city country combination okay so let's check it is working or not so to just to check uh, it is working or not just copy the link and uh, paste it in your browser so it should open up uh, the xml file okay so this is actually this visual is actually working now we are we can test this using our soap ui okay? now just uh, copy the link and come back to soap ui where you can start your project and just uh, select to a uh, new soap project where you will have to uh, input your visual uh, initial visual and just your name here so name it's come automatically global weather 
and now it's uh, asking to create the glo global request for a sample request and put it all default and just click ok and just wait for the load definition of uh, yes uh, the project has been loaded i can see here global weather soap and global uh, weather soap one two okay so the difference in between these that this is the two version of the soap request and this is uh, the basic one 1.0 and this is the soap one two we'll be checking with soap one two here and you can see here there is a two request get cities by country and get weather so if I'm just opening this SOAP request, you can see uh, a sample. Uh, yes, uh, this is the sample request. You can see here, this is uh, submitting to this uh, visitor link. And uh, you can see here, that this is the SOAP envelope, which means uh, uh, the SOAP request. And it will be enveloped in these two tags. And here it's SOAP body and SOAP header. Basically, some of uh, uh, the visitor will have the SOAP header only then uh, the response the web service response will be generated from the response server so in this uh, request we don't uh, we are not having any header only uh, the parameters the like the country name only is there now let's try uh, by giving some value here i'm going to give india and uh, let's try running this soap request by just uh, press uh, this green button here Yes, uh, the response have been generated and you can see here all the response with the country uh, name and the city. Okay, so this is the basic uh, response from uh, the uh, response for the visitor request we have sent here. So you can see all the cities has been listed here. Okay, we have tested uh, this uh, cities get cities by country. Now when I tested the get whether it was not generating there was uh, some error with uh, the web service from the host. So I'll I'm going to try one more uh, project here. So the project is uh, from the web service x.com where you can see here the mini demos here get countries get country by country code and all other things. Yes, it says like in this uh, visitor link all these uh, services are there. Okay, now let's try adding this visitor to our project. Just copy this endpoint link and uh, just come to our soap uh, UI. And just create a new soap project where you can uh, copy the initial visitor and the project name and as i uh, shown before this is this will be the default one and just press ok and uh, wait for uh, the definition to be loaded okay yes all the definition has been loaded and uh, there are these much uh, soap requests get countries get country by uh, country by country code and all other thing can uh, just try anything uh, try one uh, one of these so I'm going to try get uh, currency by country let's uh, uh, open it and uh, just click on the request one which will load the sample uh, soap request as you can see here this is only taking one parameter country name so let me try in again here and just press the green button to get the response pretty so here uh, the country name uh, is uh, country code is IN rupee is a currency and the currency code is INR okay so it has been loaded as you can see here same way uh, we can try any of these uh, from the uh, the previous project like that also here it is uh, two uh, versions of the soap this is a 1.1 uh, and uh, this is the soap 1.2 okay now let's try one more I'm going to uh, get it by country code get country by country code just open the request as you can hear you can uh, give the country code here I'm going to give IN so it should return me the response India okay and here I'm putting US if I'm putting US it should be give me the United States okay so I have shown how to uh, test the, the basic uh, SOAP request if there is more than uh, one more than one parameters just uh, get it all here and uh, the response will come here okay? now I'm going to show you an uh, useful thing in this SOAP UI now we have just tested the US and India currency uh, country code and get the details here now if uh, in a project we might uh, come and across some situation like we might have uh, uh, try a different uh, scenarios like different inputs so what I, I'll have to change here every time the inputs so to get it uh, done without uh, putting input every time we can save a request 
here in the SOAP UI which is the best part and very useful while uh, you are doing a project now if, um, uh, if I want to save this uh, request as a test case I mean if we, we ha will have to use this uh, several times on testing a, a project we can save this request in this uh, SOAP UI so to do that just uh, get the request and respond uh, first time and uh, just right click on uh, the request and you can see here add to test case okay and if you are just clicking add to test it will ask for the project name uh, where your test case should be saved okay so i am giving it as test suite one and just click ok so specify the name of test case i am putting it the default test case one okay and uh, the name for the request you can see here it's a request one whatever it is uh, you can uh, select all the schemas and uh, other information here just click ok again and just wait here as you can see here let me uh, show you the project as you can see here inside this project one more test suit one case is added where get country code request one is saved it as here okay now in if any in any case if you want to try this one as the us as the input you can just come here and just try it here now if you want to uh, generate one more i mean create one more test case just go to uh, your soap ui and i just give open the request again and uh, put a new country code as in and just execute uh, the request and uh, the response is here and same way just uh, select to add to test case and uh, in which test case you want to add and i'll be using the test case one and press ok and uh, here it is we have to name the request and uh, i'm giving the request as request in and just click ok now we can see here get uh, request one is the us let me rename this one as uh, us and uh, the other one is uh, okay this is the us and this is the in so in any any time you can just come here and just double click and the request will be loaded as you have saved the test case as it is okay now there is one more thing here assertions you can see here assertions so if i'm clicking the assertion there will be uh, no response here that will be run this one yes in the assertion uh, it says like uh, soap is uh, valid the assertion is nothing but we can uh, just predict what a, uh, your response will be like now the soap is valid because if i'm uh, seeing this one we'll be uh, getting a valid response it will uh, this is a default response default assertion where the uh, if uh, the response is coming successful it will be showing as valid now we can see here if we are uh, passing country code uh, the response is having a parameter named country code okay now we can create an assertion like the response will always have a country code only then show me it is valid okay now to add that assertion just click on the plus symbol here and you can see here it, uh, we can just select the contains uh, tab here you can uh, as it is saying like searches for the existence of a string token it is available there all these are available all these uh, uh, deactivated thing will be available in the pro version because uh, we, this is only a test version and uh, let's click go for the contains uh, assertion just okay uh, press okay and uh, we can see the content here so if uh, the assertion is uh, putting it as a country code and we are uh, putting it as ignore case and uh, regular expression no and just press ok and you can see uh, it is also valid so the uh, use of this is uh, there if there is a, a lot of a response a, a big response is coming where there is a lot of uh, variables if you want to check one variable is available or no you can use this one uh, use this assertion hope you got this what is the use of the assertion and uh, how we can save a, a request for test case and what is the use of test case and how you can add a vistel project in your soap ui and test it properly and get the response and read the response and how to pause it uh, one by one and check it okay so uh, if you have any doubt in this uh, please comment below i'll be helping you and please like and subscribe for my videos and i'll share all the uh, web services link in the description which I have used here and please check it and uh
yes thanks for watching